Hello. Hello, this is Mitchell J. Raven. We are here in Costa Rica at the first annual Life System Conference. And we're gathered together here among the speakers to have a little panel discussion among ourselves to see how the use of the life system interacts and relates and interfaces with each of our individual professions and disciplines that we've been working in for a number of years. So it's really a very wonderful opportunity to have this gathering of professionals who have been working diligently in the field of holistic health, the field of energy medicine, and related fields, and to have us all come together for this uh, exceptional moment. So to my right is Chris Kayser, who is the main orchestrator of Life System. Chris, could you just say a word or two about how it is you came to do this and what you see its interface is with the work that you've been doing as a classical homeopath for so many years? Okay, the development of the life system uh, became important to me as a result of the work that I had been doing in homeopathy. And it was sort of a natural transition from homeopathy being a form of energy medicine to the development of the life system. And it, it just became a labor of love more than anything else for me. And it also became uh, a project that I, I wanted to use to help bridge the gap between traditional medicine and, and, and also alternative medicine or alternative concepts. Not to deny the orthodox profession, but to build that bridge so that uh, we could work hand in hand together uh, to, to, uh, towards the future of, uh, of medicine, energy medicine. Do you feel, Chris, that the use of the life system is helping to advance the use of homeopathy? Uh, yes, I do, because I look at the life system basically as a homeopathic instrument where we're actually sending back corrective information similar to the concept that's used in homeopathy. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Would you pass the microphone that way to Mike first, and then we'll move around. Just if you would just introduce yourself. Uh, hello, I'm, I'm Mike, uh, Mike Slavinsky from Syracuse, New York. I've uh, worked with uh, Chris for many other years together on this project. Um, was with him when he got very excited about homeopathy and wanted to bring it out to the masses and worked with a line of clients through the years. And that, uh, working with him and bringing the life system about, uh, has been exciting for me. Uh, it's been a struggle with a lot of challenges because a lot of energetic um, type medicines, it's hard to wrap your head around it and bring it into a computer for the pro programmer to use and then have it uh, brought back into the system of the people that uh, are sitting with you in session. Mike, in your experience of the life system, one, as a developer, but now experiencing getting calls from people from around the world who are using it in their practices, what comment would you have to make about what people's experiences are? Well, um, first of all, with the practitioners, I'm, I'm excited that uh, it fits many different uh, disciplines, from uh, nutrition to homeopathic practitioners, uh, practitioners, uh, chiropractors, uh, massage therapists, the whole spectrum. And they're able to integrate this life system into their business, and therefore uh, almost an extension of their practice uh, uh, more effectively uh, be able to help in people's uh, uh, getting uh, wellness uh, and balance and harmony into their lives. No pun intended, but what is the feedback that you're getting from people in the field and the effect the life system is having? Well, uh, the feedback, uh, for me, it's, it, it, at first uh, it was very uh, surprising uh, that there was such a, a quick and full response from people because the system is very easy to use, so the learning curve is very quick, so therefore we got a lot of feedback in a short period of time. Uh, and what I am now pleased with is uh, the many uh, testimonials I'm getting from people. And a lot of people think of uh, medicine in a physiological way, but what we're finding here is uh, how powerful of a tool they have to work with people emotionally, mentally, and, and probably spiritually. Well, if we have more time, we'll come back and get some of those testimonials from you. Okay, very good. Thanks a lot, Mike. Uh, Sherry, can you speak? Hi, Sherry, Dr. Sherry Greenberg here, and um, I have 
Um, the similar route Chris Kieser has come. Um, I have come from classical homeopathy, and the device just expanded my practice tremendously. I've had amazing things happen in my office, and I'm just grateful to be a part of this wonderful group. Wonderful. And are you still using classical homeopathic remedies? When they appear, when the patient shows me that they need a remedy, I'll give them the physical remedy, just as you would give an herb or whatever. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wonderful. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Perhaps you can go that way too, Maria. Hi. I'm Ariana Gosfeld. I'm a flower essence practitioner for 18 years, and uh, I'm very excited to be here, and this is such a wonderful opportunity to meet with amazing people who are working with this system. What are you seeing, thank you, Ariana, what do you see uh, as a flower essence practitioner showing up in the results you're getting with your client? Uh, flower essence combinations that are already pre-programmed in in my practice, I use them slightly differently, but the way I see them appear in the system is very indicative and very confirmative of my own assessment of what is emotionally going on with people. And with the system, I also have the opportunity to address many of the physical things that are showing, that have already manifested in the body due to an emotional situation that I can address with flower essences and then address the physical with the system, and it's very powerful and hugely successful, and I'm so grateful that I have it. So it's a very clear advance over the use of very flower good. essences. Very, absolutely. In this direction, though, would you uh, kindly introduce yourself and just tell us a little bit about the way that you use the life system in your practice? Yes. Um, hi, my name is Thomas Oxness. Uh, I'm a manager of a company in uh, Norway, and we are building up quantum medicine as a term, and also quantum medicine uh, clinics. Uh, we have built up like 62 clinics now, and uh, our main device for therapy is the life systems. And um, that is because the life systems uh, has a two-way communication with the control systems of the body and with the informational systems. And um, that's what Actually, we are all about. That's what uh, controls everything that happens. All the million uh, things are happening all the time in the body. So we're two-way radios. Yeah, yeah. And um, it's it's much more important to have a two-way communication with the control system than just to to add uh, remedies or medicines. Uh, we have never worked in alternative medicine or school medicine. Uh, we have worked this approach from the beginning with the energy medicine, quantum medicine, and uh, we have had extraordinary results uh, with... Can you give us a quick encapsulation of those? The results? Yeah. Yeah, well, we are mainly working with diseases, uh, and we have worked with uh, like two, three hundred different diseases. And uh, in my own experience, I've had uh, eight hundred and something clients, and the only six who I've had, whom I, well, my English is not the best, uh, whom I have not cured. <laughs> I'm not allowed to use the word cure, so um, we should take that again. Um, well, we are mainly in Norway focusing on diseases, and we have extraordinary results. And things are really happening in Norway in the traditional medicine and alternative medicine. Um, and. Um, it's mainly because of the effect that we have with the life systems. So and out, of, out of some 800 or so clients, only six have not responded very, very favorably uh, for the goals that you had in mind for them and they had for themselves. Yeah, that is correct. And that's, that's my own uh, experience. And we have now 62 uh, therapists uh, who have almost similar experiences. That's extraordinary. So I'm, I'm really fond of the life systems. It's a, it's a really great device. Yeah, it's wonderful. Thank you so Changing much. the world. Yeah. It's bringing a lot of life to it. <laughs> My name is April Dangerfield, and I've only had 60 clients. I've uh, been working uh, on my friends and my family and my animals. Uh, mostly I've seen experiences where my dog has been down and not getting up. I found a lot of emotional problems with him and arthritis. 
and now he's up and jumping around, which is a tremendous thrill for me. Uh, the life system came to me by divine guidance, and I ask for his guidance every time I use it. That's wonderful. Thank you so much for the show. My name is Dr. Thornton Streeter from the UK, although I work out of a United Nations-sponsored research facility in India. Uh, we're very interested in uh, young medical professionals training in an integrated manner, so they fully understand the mind, the body, and the soul. And a device like the life system plays a very important part of that training process. There's a great danger in the modern world for us to um, focus on uh, pharmacology and drugs and surgery and um, I think preventative medicine and really pinpointing the different parasites or bacteria or homeopathic remedies are just as important and if uh, an individual has a full repertoire in front of them they're going to serve the, their patients who no longer will need to be patient uh, in a much more um, complete manner, and I think that's very exciting. The life system itself does need to be investigated further. Um, what we don't want is for cricket umpires to referee our football matches. Um, we need um, health to be looked at in the way that devices are produced, and it's nice that there are research facilities available to calibrate something like the life system, see papers published, um, alongside different techniques which already so are institute equipped to there do are, this there are research. Number, there are a number around the world. That, I mean, mine is, is part of that family, yes. But um, I think that will then give a lot more credence to this technology so that more medical doctors will work with it and therefore it will be much more accessible to people. But, it um, should be stated that uh, for all who are watching, this is not a medical device. This is a biofeedback instrument, and nor are we doctors or doctors in training in any way, shape, or form. Actually, Linda Anderson said it very well this morning in her talk that we are technicians of biofeedback, and we come with our own specialties, perhaps, be it psychology, homeopathy, acupuncture, or whatever it may be. However, the real purpose is to work essentially with the stresses that are before our clients and we're not working medically. There may be what are considered medical benefits that accrue, but clearly that's not what we're going for. Sure. The client may be, sure. but our role is different. But as, as a is that a fair assessment, Chris? But as practitioners, that's true. Yes, it is. as practitioners, we do need to be part of an integrated therapy team so that our patients, our clients, they visit their doctor, they visit us, they visit their homeopath, they feel that they're all speaking the same language. Yes, indeed. That's what's important, and the life system is doing that because it's shedding light in these areas. Exactly. Thank you very much, Lord. I think the, the point about language is a very salient one, and one uh, that I hope develops as doctors do find themselves interested in the role of relaxation and the notion of self healing well, it's as the, they're working with their clients. It's the, it's the insurance industry which drives health because they're the ones who pay the bill. And um, they want to see people getting better quickly. And the life system helps people get better quickly, whether it's medical or stress or whatever. People are getting better and feeling better. We'll That's deal with that issue in our next panel discussion. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Dr. Sweet. Uh, I'm likely the elder statesman here since I've been in practice for 47 years. I practiced for five years in Montevideo in Uruguay and South America, and five in the south of Brazil. I practiced another 35 in Canada at this stage. I've seen a lot of different conditions and a lot of different problems and a lot of different ways of looking at things. And it seems to me that we are the sum total of our life experiences, which could be translated into the fact that people from a homeopathic background see the uh, equipment that's being demonstrated as an adjunct to homeopathic practice. Those of us who've been in practice a little longer, I think realize that the uh, degree of health or the lack thereof in human beings has a number of facets. Uh, some of the lessons this morning discussed the uh, emotional and mental facets. 
There's a lot of work that has to be done yet on the physical aspects. And one of the things that I've found that seems to have a great deal to uh, be taken into consideration is the fact that folks talk about the energy of the cells and the energy requirements of cells, but we haven't had anybody talk yet about the chemistry requirements of cells, and that cannot be ignored. If the brain and the brain stem and the nerve roots are the electrical system of the body, and the chemistry of cells is able, enabled by balancing vitamin and mineral requirements, by balancing the uh, nutritional elements that permit that cell to be healthy. And on top of that, if the energy of cells is balanced, it seems to me that that's where the good results really come from, is being able to balance those three facets. So from that point of view, I imagine that you've been using uh, nutritional kinds of regimens in conjunction with the use of the life system for your clients? I basically use whatever works. <laughs> Is that include, obviously, uh, yes, it, nutrition? Yes, it, it includes nutrition uh, because that's an aspect of things that cannot be ignored if you expect to have good results. Very good. And you've been seeing increased results as a result of using the life system? I look after patients from 13 countries. They wouldn't know where I was if we weren't getting results. Very good.